doesn't give oral. Hey guys I wanted to get some advice, maybe point of view towards this topic. My partner and I have been together for almost three years and he really dislikes giving oral and I believe it was from a past partner experience. He is OCD and really likes things to be cleaned down there so I think the thought of going down on someone is hard for him to grasp. However he loves receiving oral. I don't want to push him but it sometimes makes me resent him or feel sad that I can't receive it back. He tries to make it up by fingering me and trying to finish me that way but I miss the feeling of oral. Especially from someone I love so dearly. Is there anything I can do? In all serious honesty, the last relationship I was in ended because he didn't like giving oral. My current boyfriend loves it. Insists on it. If it's important to you and he won't do it, life is too short to not find someone who will overlook how they feel and try to make you happy. Find someone who will chow down. I promise you'll be happier. This may be a stupid idea, but how about doing it in the shower? I'm a bisexual girl who likes clean sex. For girls especially, there exists something called, licking towel, translated from German. It's basically a thin latex tissue you use to cover up the coochie before you eat it up. I've used it and it's also available with tastes. Maybe that's an option to get him to do it in a clean way. Look up licking cloths or licking towels, I'm sure they're available for you too. Others have suggested a shower. I personally feel kinda dry when my vagina gets in contact with water. Good luck girl, I really hope he eats you out soon. I'm not going to lie. MYX was extremely unhygienic and it has left me with some apprehension about giving oral. Maybe ask him what exactly about it makes him not want to do it because I could pinpoint exactly why I hated giving in my last relationship. That being said, I also dislike receiving. I think it's a bit odd to expect what you don't give. He should either forego oral as well and see if you both can deal with that or sit down and have a really really detailed conversation about what's turning him off of it and what would make it better for him. Surprisingly I can relate to him. It only takes one really bad experience to cloud the entire act. At least for me, but I'm working on getting over that. He thinks it's not clean, even if you take a shower beforehand? Face with raised eyebrow. Flip the script. If you didn't like giving oral, would you think you're required to? Some people just don't like doing it. Asking, expecting people to have sex they don't want to have as abusive behavior. You can want, prefer something but if your partner isn't into it, that's a no. So if it's really important to you, move on to someone who is interested. My partner loves BJ's. I hate it and it literally hurts my jaw. Plus there's some abuse background around it so it's not enjoyable in any kind of way for me. I still do it some but there's not one moment that is comfortable or fun for me. If my partner found it to be a deal breaker, I would totally understand. Luckily, he doesn't. Friend says I do too much for my husband. She texted me about 30 minutes ago. 4 a.m. She works early. She says I do too much for my husband because I'm making him breakfast and packing his lunch. Setting his clothes out. And tidying the house. I work nights at home, and he is asleep. I go to bed around 5 6 a.m. Sleep till noon. He works 8-14 hours a day. I do adult work online to bring an income myself. I just like doing these things. We don't have kids, I can't, and he pays 80% of the bills. I cover phone, internet, and groceries, household stuff. I don't drive because I have epilepsy and got into an accident 3 months ago due to a seizure. So I can't drive for 12-24 months. I also just had a hysterectomy due to cervical cancer. I see posts and TikToks on how women and men should be equal. But I'm being told by previous Reddit posts and friends, family that I he needs to also do housework. He works a lot and I'm genuinely confused. I feel he does a lot more than me and really takes care of me. We also aren't religious or Republican. We don't vote usually as either candidate sucks. I only add this because we get comments from family that we are conservative. Number one thing that matters is that you and your husband are happy with your relationship. It sounds like you are. Why your friend is giving you this unsolicited advice is almost certainly more about her than about you. If she starts in on it again, just tell her, friend, I'm super happy with my relationship with my husband. Thanks for checking in, but please trust me that I know what I like and need, and I very like how my needs are getting met. This sounds almost identical to my situation. I love doing things for my boyfriend since he does so much for me. If it's something you enjoy doing, that's different than having to be forced into this type of relationship. If it's working for your relationship who cares what anyone else thinks. Husband and wife are happy with the way things are. 
friends and family. Change that. Um. No. They do not live in your home, and do not live your life, are not invested in your happiness, and some of them aren't even going to be around to see the results of your changing your whole marriage for them. They'll bail when it all goes wrong. They're probably worried because you're clearly sick and doing most of the work at home. Epilepsy? Cervical cancer? Sex work online? Then cooking and cleaning while he's never home? It just sounds exhausting and you might subconsciously be letting it out that you're not that happy. Even if you are, wording all of that to people would give them the feeling of wanting to be more protective of you. So I think their worries come from a good place, your health, your happiness, but it doesn't have to be an accurate telling of you and your home life with him. I still do this for my grown adult kids. I enjoy taking care of Popol. If you guys are happy, that's all that's important here. And make them understand it's not him expecting this. Because soon they will be acting strange towards him. Should I, 23F, tell roommate, 24F, that we are not friends? I met this girl right before we moved in together through a roommate matching site. I later find out she has no car and a job out of walking distance. She started asking me for rides to places and at first I did, but it started to interfere with my life so I started politely declining. Then she started to ask me to pick up stuff for her on the way home even though it was well out of my way. Then she wouldn't pay me back for the things that I would pick up for her unless I asked multiple times. When I started saying no to that, she started getting creative and would ask me to go with her to places, or she would Uber somewhere and she would ask me to meet her there for a drink. I started getting skeptical about these invitations as I thought she was just trying to hitch a free ride home, so I always decline. Yesterday she had an interview somewhere pretty far from where we are. Before she left, she asked me what my plans were for the day and got disappointed when I told her I was going to the gym the same time she had her interview. Then she told me that I should meet up with her afterwards to go to the park. I see these invitations now as only free rides. I told her I couldn't make it, and she asked me for a ride later anyways, to which I just didn't reply. She's done a ton of other things in our time together that have shown me that she does not respect me. I got six more months of this lease and I'm tired of finding excuses to not do things for her when she asks. I'm wondering if I should tell her up front that I'm not her friend, and I'm not doing these favors for her because it's not my responsibility. I feel like an ass, but I just feel like I'm getting used. The next time it happens, I'd probably say something like, if you're fishing for a ride home, just don't. Dot. I'd remind her that as your roommate, all that you need from each other is basic civility and cleanliness. You have your own life, friends and that is separate from your living arrangement. Granted, I am a direct person, and I feel that you've been trying to subtly tell this person that you're not running errands, their personal lift anymore. So coming out and saying it may be the easiest way to rip the band-aid off. I wouldn't go as far as telling her you're not her friend, because you still have six more months to live there and it could be uncomfortable. But tell her you are very busy and you're not available for going out with her or for any ride or anything really. And definitely don't be her roommate again when the lease ends, you need another roommate. Do you have public transit? If so, why can't she bus or train? I would not directly tell her that you're not friends, since you still have to live together for six more months and she might perceive that as aggressive and hostile. You don't need to give excuses or reasons for saying no. Sorry, I'm not available for that, is bland, firm, and honest. It doesn't matter why you're not available, you're just not available to give rides, hang out, or pick stuff up for her. Be as vague as possible when she asks about your plans and keep being pleasant, boring, and unavailable, until your lease is up. I don't think you should frame it as, I'm not your friend, because that's not really the point. Even if she was your friend, you probably wouldn't want to be giving her rides all the time like this. Personally I'd go with a broken record response like, no thanks, I'm not interested. You don't really need to explain yourself to her. Tell her to buy a bike. I get made fun of at work because my wife makes me lunch. My wife, 27 female, makes my lunch every morning and I, 28 male, make dinner every night. We chose to do it this way because I get home earlier than my wife and my wife doesn't want me to have to make lunch and dinner, plus, we both enjoy cooking. I always eat lunch with my coworkers and they usually have their food delivered to work, through apps like Uber Eats. When we eat, my coworkers like to make fun of me because my wife packs my lunch and leaves a note. I've been told it's childish and some coworkers tell me to tell my wife to stop treating me like a child. My coworker, 32 female, read the note my wife put in my lunch today and made fun of me for it. 
She then proceeded to tell everyone about it like it was the funniest thing ever. Never wanted to punch a co-worker so much in my life. All the note said was, hope you like the sandwich. Love you heart. I think a lot of people are going to say jealousy is the cause of this but I disagree because the people who make fun of it are usually married women. I feel so guilty for allowing people to make fun of my wife. Never going to tell my wife what they say because it would break her heart, but I want them to stop. No, I don't think I will report Senta this behavior as I don't like doing things like that. Your co-workers sound like shit people. My wife packs my lunch most days. She'll often write me a little note as well just on a sticky note or a napkin. I pin them to the board in my office, or stick them to the pictures I have of my wife and kids in my office. Get your wife to write a note that says, ignore those dickheads at work love you. Every day until they stop reading them or bringing it up. Ignore other people's insecurity. I'm going to start putting notes in my spouse's lunch when I make it now. You don't love your spouse enough to leave them a note? I'm sorry to hear that. They are jealous. You co-workers are assholes but reading about your lunches is really heartwarming. Congrats.